Hello, this is going to be a quick walkthrough of Linux CNC using the Axis interface. Um, there's basically three sections here. There's the preview section that allows you to view your G code. You can rotate around. There's some predefined views like Z. Uh, X, Y, and then this normal three-dimensional view. Um, what's other, a well, couple nice things about the preview, let me load a different program, is it gives you extents of the program. Um, where zero is. Also, you can click on lines, and it'll take you to the program, the part of the program where that line is. Or you can do it in reverse, as you can click on lines, and it'll highlight the line that's in the program. You can see it right here. If I click on another one, it goes to a different. It's just kind of nice to, if you're trying to work your way through a program, um, knowing where you're at. And talking about this here, this is where you do the run from here. You just highlight the line, right click on it, run from here. All right, and then here's overrides. You got feed, rapid, spindle, jog, max velocity. Some of these don't show up depending on what you have set up in your HAL file. Um, the best part, I think, is the max velocity. This doesn't actually scale feed rates, it just caps how fast the machine runs. I use this all the time. Sneak up to a program at, say, 12 inches a minute, make sure I didn't make any mistakes. It still cuts, say, at 3 inches per minute, if that's my cutting feed, but allows me to proof out a program to make sure I didn't wrap it into a, to a um, clamp or something. All right. so. Um, here's there's menus, open file, recent files, edit. You can edit this file. Uh, tool table. You can edit the tool table here. Machines just got a bunch of stuff that you can do with the buttons. You know, I can. I'll turn the machine on and take it out. E stop. Turn it on. Now I can home it all. This is a simulation, so the home switches are simulated. Um, if I zoom out, you'll see there's home. Um, in the manual control tab, we have the homing. We can jog, um, depending on which axis. This is all with, you can do this with a keyboard too, or a jog wheel. And you see I went up and the cone stopped because I hit my soft limit. If I look at uh, here probably, you can see there's the soft limit square in the preview. So if I um, jog down, I can only jog up to my soft limit. All right. And let me put back into this view. I can run this program. This is the play. I can pause it. I can single step through it. I can unpause it. Um, there's actually some zoom buttons here, so you could technically do it with the touch screen, although I don't think ac the Axis interface plays well with the touch screen. I don't use a touch screen. Um, we can stop the program, we can restart it, we can stop it, we can, granted you'd have to make sure you started where you wanted to, I can run from here, do that again.
see it went right through the part, but run from here works well. I'm going to stop the program, show you some of the menus. I showed you the file menu. Machine menu has a lot of the like run program, run selected line, step. Um, you can also on home, zero coordinate system. Um, you can touch off to work or touch off to fixture. Um, you can do from the manual tab, you can do uh, tool touch off or regular touch off. So let's say I want this to be zero. I can just say touch off. I have Z selected. Show Z here. I want that to be zero. All right. You can do that with X, Y, and Z. Um, also, one of the neat things with Linux CNC is there's a hail meter. This allows you to look at pin values. It's like a little voltmeter meter. The really cool thing that I use all the time is hail scope. Um, this is like a this is like a little oscilloscope within Linux CNC. So right now I have one pin selected. It's the XYZ velocity. So if I set this to normal and I run this program, go back to house go. I don't have any trigger set, so I'm gonna force this. This gives me this is showing me the XYZ velocity of the tooltip. Kind of gives I mean gives me a view of what's going on. I can pick all kinds of different pins. I can do m multiple channels. It's just an awesome tool. I use it for more things than just Linux CNC. Um, let me stop this. I can clear the toolpath. Um, there's also an MDI tab. It gives me active G codes. It gives me a history of what I've run. That was a circle that didn't have the right starting point. I can pick any of these. I can run them. Um, there's also a DRO tab. This stuff can be added to the preview here. I just think it makes it messy. I can under view. There's a lot of stuff you can turn off and on. Um, so here's show offsets. I just don't like that look. I usually turn it off. So this is basically the basics of Linux CNC and the access interface. Um, pretty pretty easy to use, pretty basic. Um, I use this interface for all my machines. There are a few others I'm not familiar with. I think if there's anything else, you can actually show relative position, which is with your offset supplied, or you could show m machine position, which is the position from your home. Um, you know, it's very flexible on what you want to view, what you want to show, how you want to run something. And I think it looks nice, but <laughs> that's just my opinion. All right, enough for now.